Hey, this is Brian Cochran, and today we're going to go over how to set up your IBO sites. And so, when you first when you log in, you must log in first in order to uh, get to the admin. And so, what we're going to do is do that. Already logged in, and we're going to go right now to IBO sites. It should take a second, depending on how fast your computer works. Uh, scroll down, and it says create your site. Click there. Alrighty, scroll down. You need to place your name. Uh, this is BizHelp. One admin and slogan. It has its benefits. All right, and then you describe it. You can always do this later, but just put a little something. I think you're gonna have to do it anyway, so. Go ahead and do that. Um, description, um, this is where members can learn how to set up the various pages and features of the site of this help 101. And let us go. All right. Well, you can share. You can show your uh, site in the listings. You can make your website invite only. I'm going to leave it open for right now. Then you must set up a template. I'm going to just use an easy one. This quick one right here. It's kind of cool. Um, then, if you don't have it, it'll it'll uh, by default it will give this image here. But if you want to create one. Um, you can to upload it to your own template. For now, I'm just going to leave it blank. If you need some help, um, just email me at ben at bisa101.com and uh, we can uh, help you with that. And so you need to have it by default by 920, excuse me, 970 by uh, 231. If it's a little bit larger, it does, and smaller, it does uh readjust so that's kind of cool so that way it's equal it's equal and even uh if you want to set up your guest book you can click there um but I won't for now and just click save you know, depending again depending on how fast your computer is it'll set it up and you're set so from there what you need to do is you can open up your home page which you probably need to do anyway If you don't, if you're not ready to put all your information in, just put you know home page. What I'll what I normally do is just take the, the page off and just put home, and then uh, from here, this little section right here is called a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. It allows you to type information, uh, um, bold, uh, italics, underline. This is for the color of the text. This is for the background. If you want to put background color for cover, this is for your justifications bullet points and so on and so forth. If you want to add an image, you go there. If you want to add a YouTube video or something like that or go to Biz Up 101, we have some videos that you could up that will be creating that you can upload for your page to promote various aspects of different things on your page. And then if you want to add a table and so forth. But for right now, uh, just welcome to my page. And I'm going to put under under construction just because under construction and then you can make that larger go up here by font sizes I'm just gonna put 36 and bold it out just to make it bold you can also if you have images that says under construction and so forth is there and then um, go down below press save save you can also if you saw there it also you can password this page so that way yeah, only a person that has the password are able to see it. You make it private and so forth. Also, uh, you want to add more pages. The cool thing about our IBO pages, uh, site pages, that you can add as many pages as you want or need. So depending on what you're promoting, you can have a different page for each thing. So say, for instance, you go here and add a page. Scroll down. You put the title. And we'll say you're going to be selling products. So uh, products. All right. 
and then all you would do then is for and I'll show you this in a second where to go get some banners to put down there so you can type up what you want in there and then you would just go below and hit save you can also password that whatever pages you want again you want to password you can uh, again you can use WYSIWYG you can, uh, you can use the WYSIWYG to make them to change it up to make it look nice and so on and so forth alright let's take a look at what you've done already or what I've done already that's it it's a one-on-one -on -one admin uh, membership has its, pay, has, has its benefits with the description and then what will happen is the, the very top portion of the page is the the biz up one on one page because that's where we did this uh, set this user page up. So for instance, if you set it up in any of the other portals, just to give you a heads up, uh, if you do that, then it will be the page of that portal that you use. So if you use, uh, for instance, uh, bigfatsavings.com, then it will have the products and products and stuff that's offered there. If it's finance builders, it'll be the information there. So whatever portal that you go to, this will be the top part. Then scroll down, and then these are the pages for your, these are the, the menu items for your page. So for, for instance, if you look here right now, um, this is the main page of, of Visa 101. Then you click on Home. Under Construction. And then Products. That's the little information we type there. If you notice and you look up above right here where my cursor is, is bsl101.com. That is your uh, user. That is your name, your username that you're using for the website. That's the basics of setting up your user page. Uh, the next video will go into how to add images from uh, the various uh, portals so that way you can start promoting your page. This is Brian Cochran, and we'll talk to you.